No worries, Bianca. I'm going to reach out to the volunteers and staffers and keep them up to date about how we're branching out and expanding the structure. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I think placing Amanda in charge of the staffers was a great idea, too. Okay, we'll talk later. Bye. I'm such a sucker for this time of year. Yeah, I think most people are. It must have been tough working overseas during the holidays. What was it like? Well, it's kind of hard to celebrate when your adrenaline's pumping 24-7. You're not really sure where the next bullet's coming from with your name written on it. So you work harder. You play harder. Fall in love harder? And we're not going there. Oh, come on. You can't blame me for wondering. I think it's a good idea for you to let go of what happened between Jake and Karen. And you? That was a long time. Well, back to work. I only have like half an hour, so. Me too. I gotta get going soon, so. Mm, date? Nope. Still not talking. Oh. You know, if you uh, hang out a little longer, I got fresh pies coming out of the oven. Oh, that sounds so good, but I, I gotta get going. Okay. Thank good you. To see you. Sure. You too. Where'd everybody go? Jake and Amanda? I don't know. Me? Helen back. Can you be a bit more specific? I went over to Kendall's. I told her I was moving in with you, and I invited her and the boys over. Didn't go too well, huh? No. Mm. She told me to leave and never come back. She wants no part of me. Or us. Sorry. She'll come around. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure anymore. And then to just to top off the perfect day, the hospital called. Another decision has to be made about David. Yeah, but you started the divorce proceedings. Not enough. It's time that I find someone to be his legal advocate. Anyway, how was your day? Uh, well, I uh, ran into Madison. God, this town is definitely too small. Yeah, well, when I told her that you were moving in, um, she looked like a truck hitter. Don't you wish we could just find the right thing to do to make everyone happy? Did Bianca send you over here, Reverend Torres? No, and please, call me Ricky. I just wanted to check in after the memorial. Oh, okay, I get it. This is a uh, make sure Kendall's not losing it day. Oh, stop it. I didn't think you'd be losing it, although that would be a legitimate option in this situation. As long as nobody gets hurt, of course. No, it's just regular old breathing hurt here. Exactly. Now, you know, uh, saying goodbye is hard. But so is life getting back to normal. Um, Reverend Ricky, you did an amazing job at Sachs Memorial. I mean, it was perfect. But I'm, I'm really not a religious person. Okay. I'm, I'm not offended. This isn't a recruitment mission. I'm not looking for somebody to run this Saturday's bake sale, Kendall, I promise. Okay, so you don't expect me to show up at church on Sunday? Hey, that, that's totally your call. So listen, I, I performed the wedding the other day, and, and this couple, they gave me a gift and thanks. And, and I'm usually not supposed to accept gifts, but they would not take no for an answer. I got Flyers tickets. And they just happen to be playing the Red Wings, Zach's team, right? Yeah, Zach turned him into a, a huge fan. So I thought you and maybe Ryan might want to take a little spike to the game. Wow, that is it's very generous. Now don't get me wrong, if Zach would have been a Sixers fan, you would be out of luck. Because <laughs> basketball, <laughs> that's more my speed. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's not a problem. So listen, um, I'll give you a call next week and see how the game went. Okay. Hey, Spiky, what's the matter? What's the matter? Bad dream. Bad dream? Oh, come here. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I heard that he's at Clooney, but I couldn't find him. Oh, I know. I know, I miss him too, a lot. But you know what? I think I have found a way that we can feel closer to him. This was all in the past. That's what you said, right? So why is Jake's ex-wife in Pine Valley? Mr. Chambers is almost back to his old self. time. 